It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Glad you're here with us tonight for this Monday night presentation. This is Kevin Harlan along with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. Doris Burke will be reporting from the sidelines. The Celtics are looking to grab one here for the home fans in Boston before heading out on the road. They're looking for a little bit of redemption in this one after the loss to them here last time. That game brought the season series to 2-1. Now the series finale looking to draw even uh, to a piece. And that result was no surprise because they played very loosely with the basketball. They sure did. There's no question about it. And when you come out on the wrong end of the turnover battle, you're often going to be on the wrong end of the scoreboard as well, Greg. You know that. All right, let's set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. On the court right now for the Hawks. Teague and Corver are the guards. Millsap at power forward with Horford at the center. And it's Bazemore at the three spot. And guys, you hear about how the Hawks are the jokingly referred to as the Spurs of the East. It has to do with their coach, Mike Budenholzer, who's really brought that philosophy here to Atlanta. And that one's good. Atlanta with the ball. They defeated Indiana in their last game. And the thing I took away from that one was just how valuable their guys coming off the bench were. I thought the reserves were the difference in the game, Greg. I mean, a lot of the scoring came from the bench. Nice job coming off that screen. Horford's got his first basket. And he came off that screen, and the D just didn't get over the top of it. Yep, weren't there in time enough to challenge, Greg. And when that's the case, you can mark those up for him. Now, here's Thomas. Last game with 30 points. Outside for Sullinger, releases, and it's Jeff Teague with the rebound. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Outside Brantley, Johnson sets the screen for Brantley. Johnson kicks to Sullinger, takes it up with both hands and rips it down. Well, he's an undersized center, but he more than makes up for it with some serious leaping ability. Hawks have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. The pass to Bazemore. Bradley against Corver. Here's Millsap. Johnson with the block. Crowder kicks to Bradley, and down it goes. Done through off a wonderful assist. And really a good job spotting his teammate near the bucket and then just pinpoint passing for the finish. And watching Amir Johnson Clark, he seems so casual about silently destroying opponents in the paint, and he's carried that air about him almost his entire career. You know what? He's rarely had plays called for him, Kevin. He doesn't produce a bunch of highlights, but he's really potent. I mean, one of the league's best at defending opponents at the rim, grabbing in traffic rebounds. Those both are valuable assets. Baysmore dishes to T. Millsap a screen. Teague the pass to Millsap. And he jams it with authority. And that's how you make a steal count. Turn it into a quick slam at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there, if I, if I can say something. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant offense. Yeah, I remember GA as an irritant. And this guy, much like Greg, creating havoc out there. Here's Crowder. Atlanta with the rebound. And, and talking about Amir Johnson, he, he's really the last of a discontinued model, if you will. When the Pistons called his name in the 2005 NBA draft, the year before the rookie age limit was put in place, he became the last 18-year-old drafted into our league. And, and it did take him a number of years to kind of get up to the pro speed. Guys, did you know not once in Johnson's 10 seasons has he averaged more than 11 points or seven and a half rebounds a game? Sometimes he doesn't even start. And yet, there is a certain sect of followers who feel Amir Johnson is among the most valuable, efficient players in the league. Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. Zeller, he's checked in for Zellinger. Yurebko comes in for Johnson. Turner's checked in for Browner. And Smart subbed in for Bradley. A good open look, and he splashes home the three. Here's Schroeder, and they get some nice contributions from him on a nightly basis as he averages over 11 points a game. Passes it to Humphreys. 
Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Guys back and forth this first half. Well, five lead changes early on, guys, as we grapple back and forth. <laughs> and this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. Hit by Zeller. No one near Turner as he lets it go. Offline with his three. They have a chance to go two for one here. Well, let's see how they play the clock. Humphreys against Zeller. Humphreys kicks it over to Schroeder. And it's off from three-point range. Boston trailing. Now Smart. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Thomas gets the bucket. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Everybody on the same page, completely in sync. Tremendous communication and awareness. It's Scott on the wing. Good on the three-point shot. Nice. Five seconds left here in the first quarter. Here's Thomas. No good trying to beat the buzzer. And at the end of one, both teams putting up some points. The Hawks on top, up two. And we'll be back in just a moment with the start of his decision. I mean, taking the Celtics to the playoffs in just his second season. I mean, I think he's one of the bright coaching stars in the NBA today. But was it the NBA's game and college basketball's loss when he moved on to the Celtics? Well said. And welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. More action in store as the players get ready to go, having a nice break to get hydrated with Gatorade. And for the Hawks, guys, what stands out to you stats-wise? It's all about the depth, really. The bench has been the difference. The bench play really has separated these two teams. Yeah, it's been a huge advantage for them. It's, that bench has really made a nice contribution. This is how the floor looks for the Hawks starting the second quarter. Millsap at power forward with Horford at the center. Dennis Schroeder is out there with Kyle Corvin. And it's Cephalosia in at the three. And really a fantastic season for Selinger last year. Really made some leaps forward, but missed a lot of time still due to injury. The Hawks trail by three. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. Corver gets a wide open look. Corver missing again. The Celtics shooting it as well as you're going to see. 67%. Millsap with the steal. Got a piece of it. And now with the fast break, Smart with the ball. Shot's good by Turner. You know, that's a case there, Kevin, of him making a pass to a spot, and then he let his teammate run right into it. Well executed. They set the pick. The feed now to Corver. Atlanta again missing. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. Old school D right there, just telling them no easy layup. It's as simple as that. And that's what you expect from them. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Boston. You know what, guys? It looks to me like they're really in sync here, all on the same page. They've already got a bunch of assists. Yeah, they're showing some muscle also in the first half as well and, and getting a lot of their points in the paint. Really like the balance they've shown. Johnson, he's checked in for the Celtics. Crowder comes in for Evan Turner. Outside Teague. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Millsap. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Nice pass that time. What excellent vision by Jeff Teague out there. The Hawks have gone two for two in the game at the line. And, guys, you, you got to love the front court for these Atlanta Hawks. I mean, Al Horford and Paul Millsap both give up a few inches in terms of height, but you won't find a more skilled and versatile front court in the NBA. Here's Smart following the bucket by the Hawks. In the corner, Bradley with it. And Horford pulls it down. The Hawks trail by three. Now here's Corver. A 14-point game for him in the win against Indiana. Teague with the ball. 
The Hawks need to get off a shot here. Corver, no luck. Well, speaking of the skill of the Atlanta front court, their offense predicated on ball movement and spacing and shooting. Unlike San Antonio, Horford and Millsap are perfect fit. Really, those two enjoy playing together. Excellent chemistry between them because they're both mobile, agile, skilled big guys. And Atlanta calls their first time out of the game. Yeah, and you can tell they're just a little out of sync. I think he just wants to get everybody back on the same page. Yeah, I like this timeout, Greg. I think right, it's a good one because it looks like they need a, a minute to talk things through here. Here's what Boston's going with right now. Zeller, he's checked in for Jared Sullinger. And Thomas subbed in for Bradley. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. Chris Humphreys has checked in for Horford. Scott comes in for Paul Millsap. Kent Bazemore is checked in for Cephalosha. And Tim Hardaway Jr. subbed in for Kyle Corver. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. Celtics and here's a look at some stats for Jeff T. Uh, he's really producing here second half of the season. He's putting up about 14 points a night, seven assists, and two rebounds. And he has been passing the ball like a virtuoso. That's what really stands out about these recent performances. Hey, every train needs a conductor, man. He unifies his teammates, sets the tempo, and they make some sweet, sweet music. It's Thomas outside. Johnson kicks to Smart. Ball's knocked loose, and they're moving it up. Here's Hardaway. Rips down the breakaway slam. Yeah, how about the sharp steal and then run out? It looks like they're ready to put the hammer down. Well, we've been waiting for one of these teams, Greg, to pull away. Maybe that'll be a springboard for them. Could be. A dunk like that coming off a great defensive play has to build some momentum. So it's Boston now. After the basket by Atlanta, Thomas kicks to Smart. And here is Hardaway. He averages about uh, five points a game. Teague left side, 14 feet away. Good on the shot. Now just a one-point Celtic lead. Wow, got that one off right in the face of the big fella. Nice quick fire release. Yeah, and the mid-range shot really the only option in that situation. Sometimes when you're facing a bigger guy, you can't get it all the way to the rim. Johnson the screen. And Thomas, here we go. Humphreys with the steal. Now the Hawks moving it the other way. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. This has been a thriller. You cannot say enough about the way these two teams have competed. All indications, Greg, are that this game is going down to the wire. I mean, I'd be surprised, actually shocked, if it ended any other way. And the first half comes.